In East Berlin, uh, they were offering a job for my daddy, so that's why they went. And Anna Seger is a very famous um, writer. She said to my mom, uh, we need you here to help uh, to clean the ruins out of the heads of people. And my mom was able to reach uh, not the heads, not the brain, but the heart and the neshama, as we say, um, of people with their songs. And um, I mean, if you imagine it today, you 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 think I'm 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 telling bummermises. <laughs> But in uh, November 1952, they gave a concert with Yiddish songs in the Haus der Deutsch Sowjetischen Freundschaft, the house of the German uh, Soviet friendship in the Kastanienwäldchen, um, and with Yiddish music. And she never stopped to perform Yiddish music. So in the 50s, she became already pretty famous. Yeah, Till today, people are telling me that they remember her. So she became a very famous uh, Yiddish singer. And for me, there were two, 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 two things I was not able to get together. So mommy, as long as she was outside and on the stage, she was a powerful woman. But when she came home, she fell into the famous depression and was in bed. And uh, uh, so my daddy was not there, my sister was not there, and I was alone with her and all this uh, dipokim <laughs> hanging around there. So for me to be Jewish was this 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 uh, dark fear of uh, what, what was connected to the Shoah, uh, where nobody was talking about it in the family. And there were this, was this joy in her songs and this power in her songs. It took me more than 40 years to get these pieces together. 